Hi, we are Annette and Max, and before moving here in Vancouver a few years ago, we first visited this beautiful city as a tourist with our family. That's when we first fell in love with Vancouver and decided to move the same year. Ever since, our family back in Winnipeg will fly in every now and then to spend some good vacation time with us. Until all the lockdowns happened. After nearly two years and travel restrictions being lifted, we get to finally see them again. And it is our mission to give them the best time here in British Columbia. In this video, we'll be showing them and you the best things you can do in Vancouver in 48 hours. You guys, after having two years of lockdown, the family is back together. Hi vlog! <laughs> Quick intros! So this is my mom, Epi. Hi vlog! If you have seen some of her earlier videos, you probably have seen her before. She was there on this video, and this video, and a lot more videos. I call her mommy, and you guys can call her mommy Epi too. And traveling along with her, Hi vlog! Hi vlog! Hi vlog! I have three younger brothers. One is named Carlo, which is actually in Vancouver vacationing with friends at the moment, and we'll be seeing him in a couple of days. Another brother named Edward, which we call him Wawa because he couldn't pronounce his name when he was younger. And the youngest brother is named Andrew, which we call Dadu for the same reason. Here's kind of the situation. In this video, we are going to spend two days in and around Vancouver touring our family. But the bulk of the activities will be tomorrow because Wawad is flying in a day late from today. But right now, we are here at Hawassan Mills doing some indoor shopping because it's quite rainy outside. Since the weather wasn't playing nice that day, It's raining! Welcome to Vancouver! We decided to spend most of the day at one of the biggest indoor shopping malls in BC, Chawasan Mills. And after doing a few laps around this massive complex, we finally called it quits and looked for a place for dinner. So whenever we get guests from other cities, we always make sure to bring them to some of our recommended spots here. And right now we're kind of lined up to one of our all-time favorites. It's called Memory Corner and I think you guys have seen it. This rain though, it's been raining all day. This is Memory Corner. It's a Taiwanese restaurant in Richmond and we absolutely love this place when we first discovered it last year. The theming of this place is on point and makes you feel that you're in the streets of Taiwan as you enter the place. We made sure to get one of our favorites, the seafood pumpkin milk hot pot and a bunch of fried food. Your evening can't go wrong with this combination. Morning! How's your sleep? Uh, I have a very good sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired last night. Because <laughs> Winnipeg is about two hours of a difference from Vancouver time, so they're quite ahead. Sleeping at 9, they would be at 11. So also here's kind of the living situation right now. They're staying here with us in our condo, and we just blew up our air mattress right here. This is what we use for our camping, and I guess one person's gonna be sleeping on the couch. Hello, how was your sleep? <laughs> So the plan right now is to pick up my brother Wawad and maybe grab some breakfast before going on our first activity of the day. Hopefully it doesn't rain today because yesterday it was raining all day and the activities are limited. Wawad! 
Hello. Welcome to Vancouver. <laughs> There's no with no sugar? Yeah, that, that's right. That's a cappuccino without sugar. Okay, thank you. So for breakfast, we just stopped by here at Purebred at 5th in Ontario. Normally, we would wait to get to Whistler to try Purebred, but I guess we couldn't wait. <laughs> Good thing they have about four or five locations here in the city. Also, we always go with our all-time favorites when coming to Purebred. This is a chocolate almond croissant. And this is a spinach feta brioche. It's the right spot. <laughs> How's your breakfast, man? <laughs> After having breakfast, we drove to the first activity of the day. We had tickets booked to one of the newest attractions in the city, a ride down Eagle Coaster in Cypress Mountain. Normally, you will need to drive to Revelstoke to experience a mountain coaster like this. But Cypress Mountain has opened one up and we have been meaning to go ever since. But as we were making our way to Cypress Mountain, we got an email saying that they're shutting down the coaster because of the poor weather. It might be for the best because we literally couldn't see anything on our way up there. We didn't let the weather stop us from our mission of giving them a good time, so we brought our family to some of the best spots in the city and crossed our fingers that the weather wouldn't get any worse. I got a feeling that this could be a little more than feelings. If I'm being honest, honestly, you got me with you wanting. You got me playing every card and spending all my time trying to find out more about you. Cause I really want you in my space, picking up every call, I'm falling all my money's on you. I never knew I needed love, needed love, needed love. I always thought I'd be enough, be enough. Vancouver in a year gets up to six feet of rain and it poured up to 80 millimeters that day. We couldn't bear the thought of canceling our next activity due to the poor weather, so instead of canceling, we checked our schedule and managed to move it to a day without rain. You guys, I cannot believe that we're still able to do this one. I kind of gave up after seeing some rain clouds. We found a spot in our schedule that would still work. We are going to do something we haven't done before. We are going to hop on some BC water bikes. Ready? <laughs> Ready. Uh, you want to get yourself on that or yourself on the tall guys on that one? Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know how to ride a bike. He doesn't know how to ride a bike, but he's taking on a water bike. <laughs> hey, good luck. Where's your stop? <laughs> Alright, I guess that leaves me. Let me just put this here. Alright, see you in a bit. <laughs> see you in an hour. Enjoy. See you guys. Yeah. <laughs> These things go pretty fast, eh? Are we going left or are we going right? Left? Okay. Are you getting wet? Does your feet get wet? No. No? This is so fun! <laughs> Casually pedaling on a water bike in the middle of the English Bay. <laughs> this has got to be one of the more fun activities that we've done here in Vancouver. This is called BC Water Bikes. I think if I were to describe this and put this into words, it's technically a single bike put onto two floaters. Just kind of weird, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> Oh, 
So if you're thinking that you don't know how to swim and you might tip over on one of these bikes, they give you these life jackets so you're pretty secure and the bike itself is pretty stable. So I don't think there's any chance of tipping it over, even if you try. <laughs> no, not a chance. This is so fun! I can't believe that I'm biking on water right now. And I can't even do it on land. This is Nat right here. So the family is all scattered right now because it's hard to navigate the water bike. Turn it! 30. Just 45 degrees! Right? Yeah. So you can basically turn the thing only 45 degrees. Plus the current. Yeah, and I can't believe this is the only time that we did this. <laughs> you guys should also try this one. It's really fun. Although there's no chance of tipping over, there's a huge chance of getting wet. Just look at this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> on, on their barefoot now. <laughs> so relaxing. <laughs> just riding off into the sunset. I'm just here, trying to rest my butt a little bit. These things are tiring. It's just like a regular bike. It is a little bit more tiring than a regular bike because even though you're paddling so much, you don't go as fast as a bike. So we only reserve these bikes for an hour. And you can only go so far within an hour. So it's either you turn right and go all the way to Granville Island or you turn left and then go all the way to Kitsilano Beach which is the one we did. Technically you can go all the way to Jericho Beach but I don't think you're you're gonna get that far if you're like us. That takes half of the time taking pictures. <laughs> After having a weekend burdened by heavy rain, we finally got to share with our family some of the best moments Vancouver has to offer. And living in Vancouver is just like that. We get a lot of rain because we're technically in a rainforest, but as soon as the rain stops, seeing the pastel skies and epic sunsets makes the wait all worth it. Every time you put your skates on. Hey guys, uh, so right now we're going to Memory Corner. There's my brother right there, my mom, and Atima. <laughs> Rating one out of ten. Nine. <laughs> <laughs>